hello and welcome to my channel um, so I'm still making another long video today because a f few days ago three days ago I asked this and pretty much everybody says they like the long videos I don't like them but I mean I do this for you guys so yeah. so today I'm gonna show you how to make doodly things like this So let's go. Um, so you could add this to like a video or something, but I had nothing that I taken that I took myself that's good, and I'm gonna try for not going for copyright infringement. So yeah, so I'm gonna do it all in Canon Live. So first off, I'm gonna add some background. So I don't know, just some random color. Honestly, I like pastel colors. Let's go for yellow. No, maybe something. I don't know. Yeah, yellow is good. Yes, well, yellow. Yes. I add it. And I'll put it in my entire line, but like, yeah. And so now I'm gonna try to do some kind of doodle. Honestly, you can do anything you want, and it's a very simple tutorial. So let's just go. Uh, I'm gonna open GIMP because. I need to draw things. And I'm gonna make a new image and like a uh, frame size. Shit, I should have removed the background. Okay, so I want a transparent background and I'm gonna go for some doodles. What can I do? Anything I want, it's beautiful. So, yeah, that's good. I want this one and I want it way smaller. That's a big, big. Okay, that's nice. I like it. And I'm gonna go like... Oh, I want maybe like a little arrow that's gonna be like going this way. Like with a little turn. And it is this stupid. You're gonna be like... Why? And adding another layer. And making another arrow. And you get the picture, so I'm just gonna... <laughs> go through this maybe... <laughs> a bit quicker on the video. And so maybe at one point you want it to like be faster or slower. So then you can just make the arrows like longer or more like spaced. And there we go. And then I'm gonna go. Oh yeah, I downloaded a plugin that I'm gonna put in the description to export multiple layers at once. Cause I don't know if you remember in my first videos, but I would like export twenty times. So now I have this new thing. Uh, so I'm gonna call them like I don't know arrows, and just gonna get that some names and just visible layers. I like that's good for me. Export. You just keep the defaults, usually it works. Um, the one thing though is it's gonna be reversed here, but it's alright. Though I'm gonna go back here to my files and I have them all here. If anybody knows how to name them backwards, I'll take it. Uh, so then I added them to my kernel live. And one thing I did, uh, ah, well, I did not do it on this one, Control Z. So they're all five seconds, and I want them to be like two frames, so I'm not gonna, yeah. Uh, but maybe sometimes you want it longer, sometimes. So you could either do like I did with the time lapse thing, so like add it at the side, side slideshow clip. Um, so I'll put a link to that below if I remember but else you can just find it on my channel what I do is something very stupid I configure kernel live to the default image clip to be two seconds <laughs> uh, two frames sorry and then <laughs> when I add my images they got to be two frames long yay beautiful isn't it and then I'm just gonna reverse the order so they are in the order that I want oh I was the last one I can just add it. I put them here and add this one at the end. 
And then if I go here and play them, I have black arrow going in a little circle. Beautiful. And you can do any kind of doodles you want. So other things I've done before, like, wait, maybe I can find them, like, Squiggle? Uh, what are my names? Honestly, like, it's very random, yes. Squiggles. I have all of these. I can show you what they look like. I want it in the right order, but like it doesn't matter at all actually. And up, oops, sorry. And these look like. Come on, play. Oh, I'm not. Woohoo! Isn't it cute? And like you can notice, it's not like exactly the same at each frame. You know, it's like moving a little. Um, and so if you want, you can also add colors to this, so you can insert a track. Okay, I'm gonna just put that here. Let's say I want a color on it, I want it to be, I don't know, uh, like some kind of uh, gradient. So I'm gonna go Alt R here to make a rectangle. Uh, no, gradient. I'm gonna use the same gradient as the one I used in the previous video. Beautiful. I'm just lazy today. Add this, gonna. Add a transition and go to multiply. I think. Where is it here? Yes, beautiful. And it has taken the color. And I could also do it with the black, but then I don't think it's gonna be multiply. Um, can I even do it with the black? I'm not sure. Why, fucking. With screen. Like basically multiply and screen are the opposite. So yeah, that's it. Um, you can see beautiful little squiggles. Hope you liked it. And tell me what you want me to do. I'm gonna try to make more tutorials. So there might be some random stuff like this one.